Hi Libra, this is the second part of your video and like I was saying for some of you who are dealing with a very mysterious person who has been probably keeping a secret with you uh, because the electricity failed us I think that this person failed you and uh, they did not uh, do well like they are not to be trusted is what I am getting here and I am also getting that this person or you became single and of course after discovering what uh, they had in store for you I think they or you decided or this person decided to stay single and uh, you fought for this relationship or you gave it your all and you were ultimately very exhausted and you wanted to retreat so that is what I am getting in your past present and future now I am going to I am going to look into yours what you should stop doing what you should start doing and what should you continue doing So, what you sh uh, what should Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, stop doing, start doing, or continue doing for the month of June? What are the advice and messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising? What should they stop doing, start doing, or continue doing for the month of June? What are the messages coming in for Libra? What should they start doing? What should they stop doing? And what should they continue doing? So we'll cut the deck. You, what you should stop doing? So you have ten of pentacles. What you should start doing? You have four of cups. This is very weird. What you should continue doing is ten of wands. Like strange. So I'm getting here that uh, you are a very hardworking person, Libra. Like, and that is what I'm getting. And you are some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo, uh, especially a Sagittarius. Like a fire sign, you are definitely dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Aries person. And this person has a lot of people around them, and they are just playing games with these people, uh, these all of these people, and they don't treat anyone uh, with care. Uh, they keep them as their slave is what I'm getting here so some of you are definitely dealing with a very terrible person here what I'm also getting here is that in what you should uh, should stop doing is that you should you feel that this person is your uh, is a part of a family like your family and you feel that this person would be a good partner uh, when it comes to a family situation like you want to build a family with this person but uh, what I'm getting here is that um, uh, stop uh, telling yourself these sort of lies uh, you should open your eyes if this person is not uh, like they have not showed their um, like if they have not uh, sh showed in their action uh, that they are uh, a family material or a marriage material you need to leave them behind uh, is what I'm getting for some of you Libra people, if you are invested in your family and you are taking care of your family way too much, uh, I think uh, what is coming for you is that you you need to focus on yourself and or you need to just focus on uh, serving people outside your family. Like you need to uh, take care of uh, so social commitments and stuff like that. Like you need to vo volunteer some of your time to social activities is what I am getting. I'm also getting that someone in your house is trying to play or trick you. Uh, they are playing a game with you and uh, even though you are very very confident that you will win, I think uh, they will steal from you. So f for some of you that is coming up. Now uh, what you should start doing is that you need to start um, uh, accepting things in your life which are... Uh, like you should stop settling for less is what I'm getting and um, this is four of cups I feel you are bored and if you are bored you are just uh, you have a habit of uh, taking people or energy or uh, you you have a habit of buying things which are not so necessary for you but you do buy them just because you are bored uh, for some of you you do this because you want to show off to a friend circle is what I'm getting here I'm also getting that you are uh, some of you are not focusing on your passion or you are not focusing so much on uh, someone's love. Like there is someone around you who loves you but you are not so focused on them. You are treating them like crap. I don't know. I'm just getting that. So kindly be mindful of that. 
uh, this is for libra sun moon and rising so guys uh, apply to your situation uh, not everything is going to resonate with you but i am getting that there is one person around you who is probably caring for you you might have met this person a week back or sometime like 3 weeks ago but um, this person cares about you but you are not taking uh, like you are not uh, paying attention to them i'm also getting that uh, stop collecting things just for the sake of it uh, if if you don't have value for this particular thing or you if you desperately don't need this thing don't buy it or don't uh, welcome people in your life which are um, like don't uh, include people in your life just for the sake of it like you want to be polite that's why you include people in your life no don't do that uh, set boundaries is what i'm getting now uh, what you should continue doing is that you should continue working hard and uh, what i'm getting here is that you should be very uh, clear about where you are going and what sort of burden are you carrying and how are you carrying this burden so by the next full moon which is in Sag sagittarius i think uh, you will reach some of your destination wherever you were supposed to reach if you will keep working hard so keep putting that effort is what i am getting whatever project that you are working on you need to keep uh, putting that effort in that what is your strength and weakness and advice for libra sun moon rising for the month of june strength weakness and advice what is their strength weakness and advice for libra sun moon rising for month of june strength weakness and advice for libra sun moon rising for the month of june strength weakness and advice for for some of you uh, you are trying to communicate with someone uh, you are chit chatting with this person or this person just lives far away from you and you are you are traveling or this person is traveling or this is you you are trying to balance something out uh, by way of communication like you need to communicate with someone uh, in order to uh, balance it out especially if it is a pisces person uh you need to speak your emotions you cannot hold your emotions back uh, whatever is in your heart you need to express it and uh, trust me you can do it it will require you some uh some uh, special skills but do it uh, you need to communicate strength weakness and advice for libra sun moon rising strength is eight of pentacles weakness is Uh, ace of pentacles and advice is queen of wands all are nice cards and again bottom of the deck is uh, ten of uh, wands which is again the card that I, i just pulled out from this deck this is a similar card so you are definitely working on something and that uh, whatever you were putting your effort in if you were putting an effort in a situation where you were the only person carrying the burden i'm getting that you will finally understand that you cannot carry this entire load all by yourself uh, so you will drop that burden is what i'm getting uh, and you have kept your patience and you have done your research you have gat gathered all the information is what i'm getting so probably now you will decide to drop this burden because you alone can't carry it uh, into the next month so you have already uh, done something in may which has required you a lot of effort now uh, your strength has been that you have been working day and night on whatever your skills is skills are like you have been building some skills or you have been investing your time and money uh, on some project or some uh, relation or whatever uh, i am getting mostly it's money or it's something related to your dreams and desires your weakness is that you feel that you will have to start from the scratch and you hate it like you are like i cannot just start from the scratch or you feel that you don't have any opportunity to showcase your talent you feel that uh, you don't have um, people looking at, at you you feel that you are alone in this you feel that uh, nobody notices you working hard and uh, this is pissing you off because you feel that you have so many tools and so many um, things to offer Uh, but uh, i am seeing here that your weakness is that you miss out on opportunities like you don't realize that you have an opportunity because you are laid back i'm sorry but you are working somewhere where nobody can see you so why are you working in that uh, dungeon come out like showcase your work is what i'm getting uh, come out in the open and you have to be the one to uh, grab opportunities opportunities are not going to come knocking on your door 
you need to move like you need to make your own um you need to step forward is what i'm getting i'm also getting here that uh, you are afraid to start alone you are afraid to start from scratch which is i don't know like every journey starts with a single step so that is a very um, like that's not an excuse so kindly get rid of that sort of mentality what i'm also getting here is that you want to be independent financially you want to you want to be uh, secure financially you, you don't want to depend on anyone when it comes to finances so you are working you are determined to work on your finances is what i'm getting and it's going to be a very difficult journey for you because you are just beginning some of you are just beginning you are just uh taking a loan or you're just uh saving something of that sort now uh, what is your advice is that you have to be very very confident when you are moving forward you have to have your vision clear you have to write down your plan you cannot just uh, move forward uh solely based on your confidence or uh, based on your charisma you need to have a plan you need to be dedicated and you need to be bold about it you cannot expect other people to um come and help you you have to be your own uh, vehicle like you cannot uh, expect that other people will come and carry you uh, you need to have a vision you need to have clarity and trust me there are things around you and resources resources around you which will be of importance and it will be of help you are very abundant you need to start with that feeling first start feeling that you are abundant already now that was your reading libra um like i said you are already carrying the burden for a very long time just just understand like there is a way to carry any burden so don't carry it in a way that it becomes a problem like don't carry a burden um, like like uh, you can carry a same burden in different way so how you are dealing with situation is you need to focus on how uh, can i deal with this situation in a different ma manner is what you need to think about now uh, let's look at your blockages three cards for libra blockages for june your reading already went on for like uh for quite some time i was hoping to make a uh, shorter video but let's see despondence vanity acceptance is your blockage and perception like i was saying how you are dealing with your situation how you perceive uh, your surrounding how you perceive an an opportunity is something that you need to change your perspective about how you look at things you need to change your perspective about that you cannot uh, like you need to change your ideas about few things like how you deal with uh, things in life by the way my shirt here says part to the women okay i really like it and um, despondence i'm getting despondence like you feel desperate and even though you have everything you feel upset like you feel you don't have anything and because of that uh, attitude you are attracting uh, you are not attracting uh, good things because your attitude or your internal thought process is not uh, vibrating on a higher uh, level or higher frequency uh, vanity and you some of you are just uh, trying to show off like i'm getting that very 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 for some of you i'm getting it like quite like you are doing something just to please your friends or just to please your surrounding or just to be part of the crowd which is not serving you well which is not serving you well uh, acceptance you are not able to accept something about yourself or something around uh, about your surrounding and that is causing you a lot of tension uh, that is stopping you from moving forward so accept the things in your surrounding you cannot uh, you cannot hide from reality so once you have accepted the reality of how things are in your life uh, then you can start changing them uh, until unless you accept it you cannot change it right so yes restore and rep uh, replenish so some of you are being asked to take a nap sleep heal yourself definitely heal yourself i am going to do that as well you need to do it too so put on some uh, meditative music and relax sleep like a baby i sleep like that by the way diving for light diving for light some of you are on a spiritual journey and you are just uh, 
awake like you are just having an awakening so that is why uh, you are finding it hard you are probably very exhausted uh, of, because of all the work that you have done and uh, you need to take a break uh, so take a short break and uh, keep continuing on your path because you definitely have to work hard uh, to get uh, to your destination and you cannot sca like escape the escape from the hard work basically so yes that was your reading libra i hope you enjoyed and uh, please drop me a comment and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, i'll see you again bye bye